the AI companies are racing towards superintelligence without any credible plan to control it. That's the headline today. A new independent evaluation shows that eight major AI labs, including OpenAI, Anthropic, Google DeepMind, Meta, and XAI, all scored poorly on existential safety. The strongest overall grades were a mere C+. In catastrophic risk planning, every single lab scored a D or an F. That means the companies pushing hardest towards superintelligent models cannot demonstrate how they would prevent the misuse or loss of control of those models. The very same report highlights real harms that already exist. Chatbots linked to suicide, users driven to psychosis, AI-enabled hacking incidents that are growing fast. These are not science fiction concerns. These are real failures happening right now, and now with systems far less powerful than the ones that the firms are racing to deploy. Regulators are moving in the opposite direction. The European Commission proposed delaying enforcement of high-risk AI rules by 16 months. It also eased restrictions on training models with biometric data. Critics say that this move benefits big tech and weakens user protections, and the timing could not be worse. This creates a governance vacuum. Companies want speed. Governments want competitiveness. Users want safety. Without binding standards, the fastest group wins, even if safety collapses. That's how digital catastrophes happen. If you care about digital sovereignty, now is the time to pay attention. Follow for more daily analysis on AI, crypto, and the fight to keep technology accountable. Because the safety vacuum is real, AI companies cannot control what they're building.